afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. John Belkowitz here. Excited to bring you another Q&A Wednesday. And I don't... I think it is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It will be posted on Wednesday. Oh, come on. Be optimistic. It'll be posted on a Wednesday. I believe. So do you. Just clap once if you believe. See? You were told to clap once. So I don't believe. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> So we have an awesome question from Fiddle Crazy Steve. Awesome name. You know, you've got to appreciate the wonderful names our subscribers have for their own channel. Fiddle Crazy. One High Voltage One. Swedish Death Llama. Stop Motionist. Like some, thank you. Awesome. Awesome name. So the question is, what would molasses do to concrete? Now, I would love to give my opinion, but want to give some background and then really tie you over some great research out there. I wanted to define what molasses is. And if you look at chemicalbook.com, molasses is recognized as an extract as is an extract as a byproduct of sugar manufacturing process. The syrup or mother water as it's called. That's it's a terrible terrible name. Uh, dates back to 1943, West Indies, Christopher Columbus, um, World War I. Uh, it was less expensive than sugar. Uh, let's go to the percentages. The total sugar ton, both sucrose and reducing su sugars, is usually about 50%, but can be in considerable excess of this figure. Um, so 70 to 85%. Let's see. Total solids is 75 to 80 percent, and the sucrose content may be from 25 to 40. And there are other reducing methods that can even drive that up. And the reason why I bring the sucrose content is because sucrose sugar is often used as a retarding agent in concrete. Now, I I, I knew you were going to ask me, well, John, what is a retarding agent for concrete? If you go to uh, the American Concrete Terminology (ACI CT18). The definition of retardation is uh, reduction of the in the rate of either setting, hardening, or both, an increase in the time required to reach the time of initial and final setting, or to develop early strength in a cementitious mixture. And a retarder is an admixture that delays the setting of cementitious mixture of a cementitious mixture. So. If we have our temperature of hydration curve here, we have our mixing phase, our dormancy, our acceleration, our deceleration, and then our densification stage, what our retarder is going to do, it's, it's not going to impact the up or down, what it's gonna do is shift that curve. So right now, if our curve is right here, a retarder will take that same curve and shift it over. And Sucrose is, or sugar is used as, as, as a, a retarding agent in concrete. It's been used as years. We've done a whole bunch of videos on that, even some research on that. But when it comes to molasses, there are some wonderful papers out there. The application of cane molasses as a concrete retarder admixture by Johannes Casa. Uh, published 31 October, or excuse me, 5 November 2019. Uh, in Springer Nature, Switzerland, and we'll include a link for that below. Uh, another great article is Usage of Molasses in Concrete as a Water Reducing Admixture, or Water Reducing and Water Reducing and Retarding Admixture. And this was published back in September or December 2012 in the Indian Journal of Engineering and Material Science. And the reason why you see this happening in those areas, you know, India and you know, this one uh, also focused in India is because there's a lot of uh, cane and molasses, or excuse me, cane and sugar production out, uh, out there. And um, the molasses is a byproduct from that sugar production. So you have all this, um, you know, all this molasses, all this waste, if you will. You know, is there a way to use it in another industry? Now, you know, I said, you know, or the, you know, brought up that it is used as a retarding. Uh, admixture for concrete, but you know this other paper talks about using it as a water reducer, and you know I don't necessarily agree with that. I think the uh, set retardation uh, is going to keep your, your your paste content creamy and dreamy, and because of that, it's going to seem like 
uh, you get the same slump with less water, especially if you're doing stuff out in the field, uh, even to include you get the same slump with less uh, of a water reducing admixture. So I, I, I'll leave that up to you. We'll include those, include those links down below. Hopefully you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Don't concrete! Be nice, huh?